We all know that uh, we have to adapt when it comes to our business. If you don't adapt, well, you're not going to survive. And that's the fact, right? We all know this. And why don't we do it more often? Well, because one of the key elements is that we forget to adapt. We are kind of stuck like in a pattern, just like our patients. What we got to do is really kind of constantly adapt over and over again. And one of the biggest pillars we're talking about is in our business is marketing. And we have to, let's face it, 2020 has not been the well, I would say the, the year that we all expected, right? It is it is a year that where we are challenged and marketing has shifted accordingly and the market has shifted. So right, that's why I invited my good friend, Nicholas Kushmich, um, in this episode to show you how marketing has shifted, why it's changed and how we could change it and adapt with it. So let's get right to the show. All right, guys. Well, welcome. I have my good friend, Nicholas Kuchmich here from Toronto, Canada. I'm so excited that he's going to be joining us at the Practice Bootcamp. That's going to be right here, lawrencetam.com forward slash bootcamp. We're going to help you build your practice and transform it into a business. Why do we need to do that? Well, because let's face it, if without a business, you don't have a profit and without profit, you can't drive your cause and your yeah. dreams and your purpose and your vision. And so that's why we're here. And I am, and you might be wondering why I bring Nicholas here. Well, Nick is one of the best marketers that I know, one of the best Facebook marketing that I know. He has helped business rapidly scale their revenues using, you know, acquiring more clients and customers uh, using Facebook marketing. And he has helped like literally the best, actually, I'm going to point this way. You have seen, I guarantee you, you probably have seen <laughs> most of his campaign on Facebook. You know, those ads we see on Facebook, that's because of him. Uh, and he's really has, a, he's the guy behind the highest campaigns of uh, you know, return of investments around the world. And so that's what you don't, you may not know him in chiropractic world, but that's because he don't, he doesn't, he doesn't usually work with chiropractors. So let's welcome aboard Nicholas Kushmer. So I really want, I appreciate you for spending your time to kind of be with us, but more importantly, uh, you are one of our guest speakers at the practice bootcamp and right. I'm just super excited. Uh, I'm stoked to, to be a part of anything that you do, for example, Lawrence, I'm just, I'm excited to be here and I, Hey, if some people need some help on how to like accelerate their practice, get their message and get their, their programs and their services out to the world, it's chiropractor. So I'm, I'm excited to be here and I I'm looking forward to helping in any way that I possibly can. That's awesome. So let me ask you a couple of questions on this particular interview yeah. here uh, while we're on your Cairo coach show. Uh, a couple of things. Number one is uh, what do you like 2020 has been, well, let's face it. It's been a challenging year for all of us. A for weird of year, us. you know, um, yeah. it's just been a weird year. Like I me, mean, to be honest with you, Nick and I were uh, together in Marrakesh, <laughs> you know, enjoying the world while the coronavirus was uh, just exploding around the world. We're, right. we're sitting in Marrakesh thinking, ah, everything will be fine. It's not that bad. It's just the flu. And then we started heading home. And that's when, as soon as we landed to our respective homes, Sydney and Toronto, that's when we go going. Lockdowns. That's yeah, crazy. Lockdown happened. Like we literally yeah. was one week away from uh, being stuck in Morocco. <laughs> True. I think they closed the country down. So we were that lucky. And anyway, so 2020 has obviously changed since the last time we right. saw each other live. And uh, what, but I also noticed that marketing has changed. Company has yeah. changed marketing tactics and strategies. How has marketing changed in your in your opinion, and how do we need to adapt moving into 2021 and beyond? Yeah, it's a great question. I, I think the first thing that people have to realize is that people are distracted. Like attention is so hard to come by now. Like coronavirus, uh, fortunately or unfortunately, was like only one of a bunch of things that happened in 2020. There was a lot of stuff getting people's attention. And as a result, people were distracted, right? Distracted from the things that they consider to be everyday part of their life, including their health. So what you may have noticed as a chiropractor is that, hey, people who would probably come for regular visits, if you had still had a practice open that was taking clients at the time, might have trickled down a little bit because people were just like, wow, what is going on? People were afraid to go out. People was just all sorts of madness. And again, that's because people are distracted with you know what is going on in the world. So the first thing we have to realize is that the commodity that we are competing for in today's day and age is not time or money, although that's obviously part of it, but it's attention. It's how do we as a service provider stand out, A, 
from all of our other competition because there's a lot of people vying for the same kind of eyeballs as you, but not just the other competition amongst all the crazy noise in the marketplace. And so one thing we have to realize as chiropractors or specifically as business owners, because that's how we have to see ourselves is, hey, there are a lot of people who need our help out there. Um, we have a solution that could provide that help for those people, but unless we become good at capturing attention and then speaking to the needs, the pains, desires, the aspirations of those people, we're going to be ignored, which is a sad, sad fact, right? And then the second thing I think that everybody has to realize and that people are coming to here is that uh, digital used to be considered, hey, the future, right? And I know this personally from working with a lot of practice owners or, or, uh, or professional service providers. They're like, oh, well, I'll get to that digital thing later. Uh, we'll go with referrals or we'll go with some other of these methods. And, and Digital used to be the future. What we have to realize is digital is now. And what I mean by that is because of this coronavirus and COVID, because of all the madness in the world, what the statistics are actually showing us that there's way more people spending way more time on their phones, on the internet, on social channels, and, and they are consuming and looking for content and people who can help them with their various needs. So the two things that everyone's got to remember is one, you're vying for attention and you got to do it the right way. And B, digital is now. If you do not have a digital strategy to get more clients into your work, you will be falling behind at a rapid rate. And so my hope for you is that you kind of get on board with this. Well, I know that Nick's going to dive into the into those digital strategy. That's what I, you know, brought him in to, to really speak for it because he's going to talk to you about, you know, things like creating a perfect ad, you know, how to create limitless leads, and all of these things are going to dive into in that session at the practice bootcamp. So check it out at practicelawrencetan.com forward slash bootcamp. Now let me talk to you about the digital strategy. We might okay. So now we understand. We know we need to have a digital strategy. Right. We all, I mean, we've been knowing it for like five to ten years now, right? Sure. <laughs> it's not, it hasn't been no secret. <laughs> but the problem with chiropractic is typically we don't execute it, right? We don't know how. Sure. So therefore, that's what the practice bootcamp is about. But the other side of things that people will be saying is like, well, in a small business like chiropractic, right, or even any service provider like chiropractic practices, how do we compete, right, get market in marketing against these bigger players who have a lot more dollars spent? How do we do that? Well, I, I love this question because, uh, well, there's so many different ways to answer it. One of, one of those ways is that Facebook and Instagram or social in general has basically leveled the playing field. So in order to compete from an advertising standpoint back in the day, you, you needed to have an established brand. You needed to have uh, millions and millions of dollars in advertising budgets to like get your message out to the world. Well, now TV, radio, newspaper, billboards, all these things are no longer the leading forefront of how to advertise. You know, Facebook and Instagram or social platforms are. So the one thing we got to realize is that the, the playing field is leveled and you can with very little little ad dollars compared to what it used to be like, get your message in front of the same people that all these other guys are doing it. In fact, probably even better for literally pennies on the dollar. So that's one thing. The second thing is what Facebook and Instagram and socials actually allowing people to do is create amazing brands or personalities or practices in very short order. So what I mean by that is there are companies that me and you don't even know existed a few years ago, but because of their activity on Facebook and Instagram are now mega brands and, and people just pay attention. What I tell everybody is that you are, especially if you're a practice owner that only serves a local kind of community, if you're working within a, a local community, or even if you expand that out into a national or international coaching practice, you are only 90 days away from being a instant industry celebrity. All it takes is really good content and just a little bit of a budget to get the right message in front of the right people to be able to, again, be seen as a credible authority, to be seen as a thought leader or a, as, as an industry expert. And that's really all it takes for you to now rise above all the other noise that's out there. The last point I'll say to that too, is that in today's day and age, and here's what's to our benefit, is that as a business owner, as a chiropractor, you're not looking to work with everybody. You're looking to work with only the people that like mesh well with your vibe, that you know you can help, that you could serve long term, all these types of things. And so as a result, what we always have to realize is that people today don't necessarily transact just on price. 
They don't necessarily just transact on convenience or location, although those are important. But the reason people transact in today's day and age is what I call residents. It's because they resonate with you as their health providers, because they resonate with your brand. It's because they resonate with who you are as a human being. And so there's no better time now. You don't need the fancy marketing slogans and the cool copywriting and the fancy videos. You just need essentially a cell phone and a few words, and you need to be authentic to who you are. And you're going to start to attract the right people who you'd love to serve anyways. And for all those three reasons, you're not really competing against the big guys anymore. You're essentially competing against yourself. And as long as you can bring that to the forefront, great people will come your way. Well, if a chiropractor can go from Western part of Australia and become a, you know, top 50 podcaster from around the world, hey, th this is exactly what I learned from you. You know, this is what you call the to Chanel effect, what I love right. that. And it's about really brand positioning. This is all the stuff you're going to be learning at the Practice Bootcamp, lawrencetam.com forward slash bootcamp. Like you got to register. We're going to gift one uh, to every person. So buy one, gift one, which is basically every chiropractor that joins up. Awesome. We're gifting one to a student to kind of join in so that we can prepare our, you know, our next generation uh, in the profession. So Nicholas awesome. Christmas, thank you so much for this. This has been brilliant. Even if you just got something out of this 15 minutes session, you are already on top of most chiropractors. Now his session is going to be, I'm going to title it. I know he hasn't confirm this or not, but I'm going to title it because it's basically saying why you should or shouldn't use social media marketing in 2021. And we had a big discussion around this mm. uh, before and in March, February, 2020. And I know that has definitely changed now. And so he's going to dive into that and go through what we just talked about on in terms of marketing. He is a marketing genius. You do not want to miss this session. Times available our already schedules up there. So we have six session and Nicholas Kushmers will be uh, speaking and teaching at one of those sessions. So you got to join in live. If you want to ask your question, we'll have some Q and A sessions over there. So make sure you go check it out. LawrenceTam.com forward slash bootcamp. Nick, thank you so much, man, my friend. We'll see you in a couple of weeks and November 21st, 22nd. Don't miss I'm, out. I'm, I'm super excited and uh, stoked to be there.